Hello everyone, this is Red Robot, and I'm here today to talk about the laser gun changes in the Meet Your Match update, namely the Pomsen 6000 and the Righteous Bison. Didn't do the Man Melter because that's for another day. Now, uh, we're starting off with the Pomsen 6000. What changed with this weapon? Honestly, not too much. This weapon got increased close range damage from 72, used to have 62, and reduced long range damage to 32. It was 42. So basically, they're making it better up close and worse long range. Now, I know the Pompson 6000 doesn't exactly have the biggest fan base. There are a lot of players, be it Medic and Spy players alike, that hate the drain mechanic. And I can totally understand. The Pompson 6000 is kind of a weird uh, counter counter weapon. Uh, it gives Engie a way to fight back against that spy cloak and that medic uber charge that really upsets him. Uh, but for this people to even exist, there's a little bit of a problem in it. Now, as you can see in the footage, instead of actually gathering any sort of meaningful gameplay uh, with this weapon to test out the new changes, I instead just opted to uh, have the incredibly unrealistic scenario of a crits medic following you around all the time just to get some hilarious 180 damage. Um, 80 damage kills. Now this doesn't actually really show off just how much less damage you're doing long range or how much more damage you'd be doing close range. So a uh, little bit of my bad but uh, I I'm pretty sure it's more interesting to look at this than any sort of other boring old uh, pub pumps in the gameplay. By the way, wasn't that transition really smooth? Back on topic though, um, no, this weapon seems fine. I mean, a little bit of damage close range. I actually kind of like it. I couldn't really ever find a reason for myself to use the Pompson, uh, unless I really wanted to annoy a medic. So this was this is cool. I mean, I never really enjoyed the kind of long range spam, and being able to kind of have more control over my life close range if I get jumped by a scout or a pirate is nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, I actually like this change. Um, let me know what you guys think about it too. Yeah, there's no coincidence that we're playing on Turbine for this uh, for this recording. We wanted to use that uh, spawn hallway to just completely camp them with the crits pompsons. That added with the fact that we can get crits off caps is really, really hilarious. We're able to get some really nice chains of crits going over and over again. Critsing a pompson's kind of funny. It reminds me of the shortstop. Um, damage isn't quite as reliable as the shortstop, uh, but it is, it is more damage when you can hit it. Now, everyone talks about how massive the hitboxes are on the Pompson, and I totally agree, but for some reason I've been missing a lot of shots. It's got something to do with that mentality you get, you know, when there's a crowd of people, you just kind of aim in the middle of the crowd and not really at anyone in particular, you're not thinking about uh, where they're going to strafe to or what they're going to do, move forward or backwards. So, so my bad there again, but uh, I felt like we got a decent amount of kills here and did pile a little bit of damage, but then again, I did have a crits medic, so it's not exactly rocket science to figure out I'm going to be <laughs> killing a lot of people. Now my secondary is the short circuit, uh, used to clear stickies away from that doorway, although not as often as I should have. Uh, but as you can see, when you run out of ammo on the pumps, and there's nothing wrong with pulling out the gunslinger. Uh, that triple hit combo can be helpful, but you don't really need it if you've got crits on your butt 100% of the time, it seems like. So yeah, all up, the pumps and changes are alright. I would love to see, you know, just a total removal of the uber and cloak drain mechanic. <laughs> Me getting away with, uh with a lot walking through that choke point and just replace like even just give it the old penetration back I mean who really likes uber and cloak drain? I don't think anyone enjoys it at all uh, But but yeah, I mean it's a step in a nice direction. I guess the weapon's still silly Okay, and time for the dreaded righteous bison now uh, strap yourselves into your cringe couch and take a ride on the cringe carousel Watching me use this weapon while critzed is going to be very painful and that's because just how nerfed it got now, I, along with everyone in the universe, have done a video on the Righteous Bison, specifically using it with the crits before. I'll put the link to the video in a card above. But basically what they changed about this weapon, they changed a lot. Okay, first of all, they, they say fixed a bug causing players to be hit by the same projectile multiple times, causing the damage dealt to very wildly. Now, m me and lots of people in the community, as well as obviously people that have worked on TF2 in the past, know that's not a bug. Like, that's intentional. The idea is that it's a flame particle that moves relatively slowly. It's, it used to move at the speed of a rocket, uh, and if people ran away, they'd be hit multiple times by the projectile, so it punishes them for backing off. It's a weapon that can be used at retreating enemies, right? Next. Uh, per shot damage has been increased to compensate, resulting in slightly more damage on average. So alright, I can understand that. The damage of the Righteous Bison was always pretty low. If they're going to remove the multiple hits, which I don't think was a bug, again, uh, and make it do more damage, that's an okay change anyway. Now, uh, Another change, this is a nerf, slowed projectile by 30%. <laughs> this is extremely painful, okay. It was already rocket speed. It's not something that like, it, it, it was never a fast projectile. I don't know who out there 
like, got really angry at the Righteous Bison just moving too fast. I don't understand why anyone would want this change. And next, projectile damage reduced by 25% for every enemy penetrated. Alright, so it does more damage initially, it can't hit multiple times. But, but why you gotta reduce the damage for the next person? Like, the whole fun of the Righteous Bison was being able to take out a whole crowd of people, a whole group of people together, especially with crits. I mean, not everyone uses it with the crits, but uh, I I've seen a few videos where it's worked very, very well. And it's not like it's ever been meta. I mean, the, the Righteous Bison has always been an okay side grade to the shotgun. The damage was never as reliable, uh, but it does move at the same speed as a rocket, so if you were good at aiming direct rockets, you could aim some direct bisons. But yeah, the, the slower projectile is just the worst part of the sword. It's so much harder to hit people. You have to predict them so far in the future that they could just stop moving and it would be impossible to hit them. Not 100% happy with these changes to the weapon. Um, nowhere near as effective as before, don't know why. Hopefully we get some more clarity on these changes in the future, or at least some sort of changes back. Anyway, you let me know what you think about this weapon, and I'll catch you guys next time.